15. Here we go. 10 seconds, stand by the K2. Do not touch the bug box. It's all you, Tyler. Four, three, two, one, and run the K2 up on it. Step my arrows by. Oklahoma Ford Friday football clips. My final showdown tops the Bob Mills Sports Desk Turn tonight. Hello, night. everyone. Welcome to the final edition of the Oklahoma Ford Friday football blitz. Yeah, and we're down to the final Semi four in the state's v largest classes, and that's where we start in 6A1. Advance it. Jinx and Union. And thanks to Union's lost to Norman North earlier in the, the, the year, double. the Redskins and rival Jinx Trojans are on the same side of the bracket. So instead of playing for a state championship like two of the past four years, this is State's semifinal meeting. Take it's our final the Wendy's game of the week for the season. Johnson Resolve. Husky is in a while, so Mr. West. Husky came down to the last second in the first meeting. What about the night? Take it, enemy. Tell you what, Harold, Great. when you look at the schedule, the whole season always kind of builds to this Great. game, whether it's the regular Eight season clean. matchup or it Ready is A. the postseason matchup. And again, for the second straight year, Union and Jenks met to decide who would play for a state Roll time. Jenks had won four in Ready a row, had not lost to Union enemy. since 2014. They looked like Jenks early, third Score play key. from scrimmage. Ian sound. Corwin looking downfield. He's got Jordan Curtis, and he's gone. 67 yards to the house. We are off and running but union would answer shamari brooks the first of two first half touchdowns ties it at seven redskins would lead 21 14 at the break second half after a union field goal it's curtis found a seam and you can just wave goodbye that is a 100 yard kick return for a touchdown and the Trojans find themselves right back in it at 24-21. But on the ensuing kickoff, Trey Brown says anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> He's up the near sideline, and he is gone. Back-to-back 100-yard -back kickoff returns, and Union leads 31-21. After a jinx punt, the backbreaker. Look at Shamari Brooks, the cutback against the grain. Somehow Can't finds animate. his way Step in for by six. B. That makes it 38-21. Union would add one more for yeah. good measure. They knock off. Jinx. I gotta 25, go. 21. Roby, watch out. Well, we got a lot, of, a lot of kids that believe in, this, in what we were doing, even when we had some Anime adversity. Now, 19. Uh, so proud of our coaching West. staff. Uh, continue to battle very tough. Uh, we've got some talented kids, and they've they've done a great Ready job growing with. into a team. Talent doesn't always win it, but uh, uh, when you become a team, you can be pretty tough, and that's what they're able to show tonight. Thank you. This two next. So now unions have finished one Harold's regular fine. season loss, and they Page got a 21. chance to maybe do another. Live in Wasso, Jonathan Husty, News on 6 Sports. Take you. You're exactly right, Jonathan, because Union will meet Norman North in the title game. Force they next. won 68-42 over Mustang. You're going to see that game Ready right four. here on the News on 6 at 7 p.m. December 2nd. Take. 6A2 should be renamed 6A Fun because there's always dramatic endings every week. Three east side schools in the 6A2 semifinals this year, including Bixby and Sand Springs in a state Relay. championship Take. rematch. Uh, Spartans beat the Sand Dites 35-19 in the last game of the regular Coming season. Up. Second quarter we go, Bixby is up 7-0. Bixby's Tucker Paul, he gets the handoff, runs past the Sand Dite defenders, touchdown Spartans, 14-0. But Sand Springs responds. Hunter Greathouse finds Casey Bales for the touchdown, 14-7. And then after a Bixby fumble, under a minute left, Great House going deep, finds Mac Thompson one foot in, nice grab. Leads to this with 12 seconds on the clock. Great House bails. The system works. Tied 14-14 at the Step half, but Bixby prevails 35-21. Robbie, And they're off to the what? state championship. Muskogee taking on Lawton and Edmond. Both teams Can't coming off enemy. comfort behind wins in the quarters. Here's Muskogee's well, just, Mo Gilbert, 11-yard touchdown four. run, 7-0, 819 left in the first. Lawton. Response. Zach Hanna passes to Dominique Neal, 20 yard gain. And then running back Trey Curry Medicaid. scores on fourth and goal from the one, 7 7 in the first quarter. Lawton defeats Muskogee 35 28. So we got to have Bixby and Lawton in 6A2 championship. Now 5A. Bishop Kelly since the turn of the century in the quarterfinals, four appearances, four losses. Comets trying to break that trend against Relay. Ardmore. Take. They're making a three hour trip to visit. The rowdy Comet fans and the Tigers, well, a little cold tonight. Fumble to be. on the first play. Comets are going to pick it up. They've got the ball. The Tigers say, let's try some option. A little pitch inside their own five. That got tackled, and that, my friends, is a safety. Two nothing, BK. Comets on offense now. Ready, K. Nick McMurray. They go play action. They'll find his man, Joe Nemec. 
touchdown on the right. pass right there. Seven However, under a minute left in the fourth, 37-29. Pro Bay, white. Battle right of top five teams in McAllister as the Buffaloes hosting Carl Albert. Titans up 14-0 in the second. Johnny Bazell going deep. It's tipped and cut by Jaden Poole. Lucky bounce, 21-0 Carl Albert. But here come the Buffaloes. Braden Parker coming to your living room. A.J. Martin, 12-yard score, wait. but the Somebody final here. Carl Albert wins 42-26. Tahlequah at Bishop McGinnis. Okay. Tigers 2-2 two 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 against ranked teams this year. Julie out there. Yeah, that's some heat lance. And here's Jared Lewis with a little flip to Rubel go. Touchdown, 14-7 Irish. Here's a nice little play of the week. Tahlequah quarterback Caden Aldridge picked. McGinnis linebacker Cole Garrett. Stripped by Aldridge, going the other way. Tigers keep the drive alive, Can't but not much step success after two. that. 51-21, McGinnis, the final. Wait. Collinsville on the road at Lawton Mac, a rematch of last year. with the teams, page 29. Ends 28 14. Step by so A. All the West Side schools in 5A, they advance. East Side, done. Relay, wide, back, cross fade, loose ticker, step by A break. Night roundup of the season. And finish down, your A break. She had to pull it out, pull it from the... Um, Franchise folder in inside. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, six, five. Semi C. Four, three, two, one. And roll C and fed up sound. It's time for Semi the A with Sports and Outdoors Friday night. Roll A and wife Q. Well, let's round them up. Our first stop for a Wagner. Number one team yeah, in the state facing Weatherford. And well, this is one of those times where we tell one of our photogs and he gets there and the proceedings are already wrapped up. 49 nothing you. Wagner. Weatherford's Ryan Terry's <laughs> throw block. Now they're trying to run. And Hagen Ard gets 10 yards, but they don't get to that elusive score to cut the lead to 42. Jam, Wagner B. wins big 56. Rope B. Why? Hildell hosts me Clinton. The Red Jam Tornadoes have won the last too? two playoff games. First quarter, we go <laughs> Mike Winston. Out. Breaks a the couple McNamara tackles, block. gets some yards before finally being brought down by Ready multiple key. Clinton players. That's a 10-yard game. He's still shimmying out there. Clinton now has the ball. Quarterback, name not listed on the roster. He finds an opening, and he goes for about a 25-yard gain. And that would set up this. Quarterback, again, not listed. Five-yard touchdown, 7 nothing. Clinton's going to go on to win 36-29. That game in double White. overtime. Bar burner out there. Here's Key a big upset. Cashel Hall on the road at Heritage Hall. Commandos looking to snap. 38-game winning streak for the Chargers. And they're up 7 nothing in the first. Grant Ward scores his second touchdown of the game, 14 nothing. Cashel Hall. 14-7 yeah. in the second. Good we go key. Commandos defense. Stubbs Heritage Hall. That's a safety. 16-7. A minute mean. to go until half. Tanner Swab Whoops. picks off the went early. Well done pass. Leave Commandos. It big win. 32-7. Finally in 4A. Tuttle hosting hey, Uliga. 35-14. Uliga now will face Clinton and Cashel faces White. Wagner. 3A. You follow in Berryhill looking to punch a ticket into quarters. Ironheads. Hey, they're on the move. But then they're not on the move anymore because they fumble. <laughs> So it's now the Chiefs' turn. To be. Jacob Bailey, he's going to go for the long ball. Trey Walker, his man, he's got it on the far sideline. Now fourth and ten. Bailey back to pass. So Actually, he says, you know, track. I'm just going to keep it because that's what I do. And I'm going to wave the camera and say, hi, Mom. Pump my fist. Yeah, We're good to go. Way. Barry Hill wins 56-13. Wrap it Robbie. up in 3A. Claremont, what? Sequoia, and Lincoln Christian Can Eagles I? of Sequoia on the move Here Tristan Diaz a little shovel pass to Nathan Stritsky 18 yard gain later that drive Diaz going to do it himself up the middle for the touchdown Eagles up seven nothing Bulldogs and their explosive offense take the field and they don't take long to do Very some key. damage because I said it was explosive Landon Brown the Austin Lindsay Bulldogs get six can they win 23 14 really our Wait. play of the week okay time now for the Oklahoma for a play of the week and third play from scrimmage and jinx Union oh, Ian Corwin and Jordan four. Curtis wide open down the right side big stiff margin 67 yards to the house but Union wins that game okay let's go to college football now see they the Sooners with. face their stiffest test since Ohio State build is the biggest Pretty game same. ever in Morgantown West Virginia and Oklahoma primetime Real national same. game of the week Mountain so assistant Joe Wickline has a lot of respect for OU. Sound, you talk about Oklahoma, you're talking about guys from all over the map. Right they got it's five stars and four stars, and they got a bunch of great players. And the next thing is, is the Stoops family. I mean, I've been going against those guys for years. They, they're the best in the business of defense. Thank you. Good snow there. See, they the Cowboys with. can keep Ready their Big same. 12 title hopes alive with a win at TCU tomorrow, but they'll have to stop Kenny Hill, the Horned Frogs explosive Real quarterback. Earl John Take Holcomb is on the road for the Cowboys and has more from Fort Worth. Rolling, quite sound, anyway. 
The Cowboys on the road for the next to last game of the regular Time season here Jordan, in Fort Worth. And once again, seconds. third straight road game, the they are 42. not going next. for a walkthrough at the opponent's stadium. The opponent is TCU, and their quarterback, Kenny Hill, reminds some of up. Texas Tech's Patrick Mahomes. Not quite as productive, but he Jordan. does add another element that may make it tough for the OSU defense. They're both good. They can both run the ball and, you know, okay. uh, you know scramble out of the pocket and look at and guys downfield that may be open. That's and, your last uh, game. Five seconds, stand by C for Kick page 42. Here we are. Saturday in Fort Worth with the Cowboys. I'm Rossi John and Web Q. And Somebody the Thunder with? hosting the Nets tonight. Or OKC light. has Wait. lost three of the Can last four at home. Brooklyn one and five on the road so far this and season. Right Thunder Scorky down five in four. the second. Russell Westbrook steal and show. slam. OKC up three, 64-61 at the break. Third quarter, Ennis Cantor. Three ball. Good ball. 12-point lead. Ready key. Then in the fourth, Russ drives. Tough show. layup, banking off the glass. Another triple-double for Westbrook. 30-11 and 13 enemy. dimes. Ready for. fourth of the year, 124-105. Take uh, also, college basketball, the ORU and OU both lose. Twenty shows. That might be. And of course, TU faces UCF that game at seven o'clock. Does all tomorrow. lose so, your ticker? To recap, we will have Union versus Norman Ten North seconds. and Bitsky versus and Lawton. Those drive. finals are set. Both of Eight, those are going to be on KWTV seven, in Oklahoma City, six, KOTV here five, in Tulsa, and four, we'll see you again next Friday three, night, my friends. Two, one, and fade us out. I don't know the schedule. It's all uh, K, um, News 9's done it too. It's statewide.